calling point of view. Second and 15, there are no good calls on second and 15. Well, uh, you, like I said, the, the, the playbook gets a little thinner the further back you go from your first down yardage. And uh, from a play calling standpoint, you, you can't, you don't determine mistakes in there when, you, when you're scheming out your series of downs. Shaler with a slot left, fakes to the fullback. He wants to throw. He throws it, and oh. it's dropped. He had a man on a curl route, Will Sharp, on the comeback. It looked like he might have caught it initially, but when he's down on the ground, you can see the ball squirt loose incomplete. Terry, Shaler throwing the football tonight. Tommy's he's thrown it 15 times. He's completed four of those for 72 yards. Four out of 15. I bet he got a bunch of those in that first drive. Yeah. Yeah, because they came out slinging the ball everywhere. Third down and 15. Oakland's got it at their own 44. Lebanon leads 23-7. Slot left for the Patriots. Take it to the fullback. Shaler throws deep. Fairchild is back there with him. They wrestle for the football. Who's got it? Fairchild has picked that off. He was in man coverage with Guyton and wrestled it away from him before he could hit the ground. Brad Reed, outstanding play for Fairchild. It was an outstanding play. Fairchild went up. Him and the receiver both had that ball. Number 80, Fairchild wrestled that ball away from him. He just wanted it a little bit more outstanding play by number 80. Back up to you, Tommy. And in a case of dual possession, the receiver keeps it. Fairchild knew he had to wrestle that thing away. You're right. It's about time one of them goes our way. So Lebanon takes over, first and 10. Give the ball inside. Looks like Benford on the carry. Tony Bowen on the tackle. That was Benford. First and 10, Lebanon took over at second down and seven. the 19, and they move it out to about the 22-yard line. Second down and eight. Second down and about seven for Lebanon. I formation, Matthew Maynard under center. Sends a man in motion, Hollingsworth, and they give it to Benford inside. He's ripped him right up the middle for a first down. Benford on the trap. Picks up first down yardage on the tackle for the Patriots, Tony Bowen. Bob, they're attacking the middle of that Oakland defensive front. They are, Tommy, and, and the one thing that, that I think leans in Lebanon's favor a little bit in some of these ball games they play in, we do a lot of platooning. We got some kids going offense and defense. Instead of having to go both ways and late in these ball games, we start to wear some people down if we can. First and 10, they give it to Hastings off the left side. Hastings blast over there for a couple of yards. A couple of hard, tough yards off that left side. Newman was in there trying to make a block, as was Miles Dillon. Michael McGowan. The sticks move. Bring him second down and five. Pretty good little gain there. He got more than two. Picked up about four on first down. 7.35 to go in the third. Lebanon on top, 23-7. Gordonsville has broken on top of Friendship, 16-14 in the fourth quarter. Maynard under center. Benford straight ahead, and he goes nowhere. He's pushed backwards. Tommy, that uh, Lebanon front not right now with Reese and Walker and Blankenship, Dillon and Dye. They are, uh, they're doing a good job. I mean, they're, they're making, they're creating some holes and uh, getting a little push up there and they're not having to play on both ways either. So, uh, <laughs> be interesting to see right here on his third and six. Oakland with eight defenders in the box. A 5-3 look. Hastings off the left side. Spins, oh. twist. <laughs> and that twist there at the end got him the first down. You don't coach that. You do not. <laughs> He spins and he twists and he picks up enough yardage for the first down, the senior, DeMarco Hastings. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty run right there. Gets it out just past the 46-yard line, a 10-yard gain for DeMarco. He had 75 at halftime, knocking on the door of 100. First and 10, Lebanon at their own 45. Give it to Hastings off the right side, and there's a flag. Hmm. 
Hastings had a good gain of about five, but the umpire immediately threw the flag. No hesitation. He must have seen something blatant. Lebanon penalized for holding 10 yards from the spot of the foul. And if I had a dollar for every time we've held tonight, I would be buying on the trip home tonight. Well, we could we could retire. <laughs> <laughs> and and Bobby said it, laziness and not using good technique. Well, you, it's mistakes kill you. I mean, you can have the best game plan in the world, and you can play good ball, but if you make mental mistakes and turn the ball over, it takes you out of ball games every time. And that's, you've got to eliminate those things. First and 20, the ball is backed up to Lebanon's 36 yard line. Give it to Benford up the middle and he's gonna get about five of that back. Boy, he looks so much better after having that bad ankle earlier in the season. So much better. Next week, Lebanon is at home. Blackman, I believe, is the opponent. Blackman comes in, it's homecoming for Lebanon next week at Noakes Lassiter Field. Finish final two at home, don't we? Yeah, final two. Blackman and Siegel to close it out at home. Maynard goes to the shotgun. His brother Jacob is on one side. Hastings is on the other. Direct snap. He drops it. Maynard picks it up. And he's in trouble, and he runs out of bounds. Did not look good from the get-go as Matthew dropped the snap from center. Now, that, that uh, once the snap was low and you had some people hesitating, trying to get to the ball, it was it was kind of mi it was mixed up worse than dog supper when he was trying to get something going from there on in the f in the first place. Going to bring up third down. So Lebanon with another negative play, loss of about one on that one. Third down and let's call it 22 yards to go for the first. Let's get about six or eight right here. Maynard looks to throw, throwing deep down the sideline for Hollinsworth, overthrows him, Whoa. and a flag on the play. Could it have been Oakland was riding Hollinsworth down there? Got a little illegal contact down there. Got a little pushing and shoving going down the sidelines. Ball's in there, you can't contact with him. <laughs> High school level, no such thing as an uncatchable pass. Zach Barnes, a sophomore, was in coverage out there with Hollinsworth, and he may have been riding him a little as he was running down the sideline. That is the call, pass interference against Oakland. Now we know what pass interference is. Well, that'll cure what ails you right there. <laughs> Boy, that will <laughs> certainly get the Blue Devils off the hook. Pass interference, that's from the line of scrimmage. That's not automatic, is it? That's, yes. That, that is automatic first down. So you're looking at third and 22, Pass and the flag comes out, and Lebanon is off the hook. Automatic first down. Automatic first, and the ball is moved to the Lebanon 49. Fairchild will be flanked wide right. Newman on the left, Taz White is the tight end. Give it to Benford on the trap right up the middle. He's got about eight. Mm. Benford behind the pulling guard, Big Nelson. Not Nelson. Anthony Amay on the tackle. On that was Walker. Bring up second. Nelson played 15 years ago. <laughs> Walker, Walker pulls with the trap and on that carry, eight yards for Benford. Second and two for the Blue Devils. Counter Trey, give it to Maynard right up the middle. He's got the first down. They pull the backside, guard and tackle. And Maynard, Jacob Maynard, gets the first down. I know what you're laughing at. Big, big Tyler Walker had somebody and just drove him eight yards downfield. Oh, bless his heart. Tyler he Walker, number nine. He had him on his heels on roller skates, Tommy. And he, he blocked him for 20 yards and just steamrolled over him. First and 10, Lebanon. Ball spotted now at the 38 of Oakland. Give it to the tailback, Maynard. Breaks it on the left side. Works it around and he gets about six or seven yards on that play. Brad Reed, what do you got down there? Quick injury update, Tommy. Number 34, Michael Hollingsworth, starting wide receiver. You saw him limp out of the game. It is an ankle injury he suffered before the season. He's already got it braced. He's actually coming back in the game right now. Just a little tweak. Expect to see him get his hands on the ball a little bit more tonight. Back up to you, Tommy. Thank you, Brad. Brad on top of things on the sideline. 
Three minutes, 40 seconds to go in the third. Lebanon leads 23-7 over Oakland. Maynard looking at a second down. Gives it to his brother for first down yardage. They ran the counter tray again. They pull the backside, guard and tackle, fullback goes left, guard and tackle go right. That's old school Lebanon football. And the defense goes back. And they're going backwards. That's how you attack them, right in the middle. Terry Maynard's had some success running the football tonight. Tommy, five carries for Jacob Maynard, 35 yards. That's a seven yard per carry averaged by Maynard. Main, uh, Newman will flank left. Hollinsworth giving just a little bit to that ankle on the right side. Lebanon with a good lead and they give it to Benford up the middle and he weasels his way through there for about three or four. Bob, he's quick enough slippery enough when all else fails he just kind of gets in the bottom of that pile well it's, he, he's small enough too when you, you can't see he gets behind some of those big linemen he gets a little crease and he squirts through there like a wet bar of soap and you can't see where he's coming from to put a good lick on him every once in a while he'll squirt outside and, and pick up big yardage Tuggle is in at left guard Mofield is in at right tackle the give is to Maynard, dancing left, dancing right, and he gets just back oh, to the right line of scrimmage, and guess what? Another flag. Whew. This could take a while. Flag on the play. Holding. Lebanon. Lebanon. For holding. Hmm. I wonder if they do a bundle surface here for all the laundry that's been on the field. <laughs> there have been a few tonight. Talked to Randall Hutto today, former basketball coach at Lebanon. He wanted me to say hi, not to him, but to his wife, Paula, former cheerleader at Lebanon High School. Hey, Paula. And, uh, of course, their son, Alex, tight end and long snapper for the Blue Devils. Second and 15, 220 to go in the third. Ball spotted at the 32 of Oakland. Maynard gives it to his brother. And goes nowhere. Negative two on the play. Had a little crease up there to the right, but he wanted to try to bounce it outside to the left. Um, just nothing there when you tried to bounce it outside. What do you call here? Your playbook can't be real thick on a uh, third down and 18. Uh, there's not much in there, but what what perhaps you could do is you pick up 10 or 12 yards. Yeah. Maybe you got a shot at another field yeah. goal. Maybe you got a shot at a makeable down. Shotgun set for Lebanon. Maynard's in the gun. Two receivers on the right. Throws it on the slant. It's caught by Crudup. Here we go. And that gets about half the yardage right there. Maynard got smashed as he threw the football, but he stood in there and completed it to Crudup. Terry, what you got on that yardage on that play? Tommy, that is pickup of nine. That's going to make it a fourth and eight, four to 11, and at the 23 of Oakland. Well, they bring the field goal team on the field. And, Bob, the last field goal, I thought the pad was a little close to the line of scrimmage. The spot will be on the 24. Put it down on the 30. This will make it a 40-yard field goal attempt for Moda. Diego Moda to attempt a 40-yard field goal. Moda in the middle of the field. Snap it, spot it, kick it up. Long. No good, just short. Did not have enough hook on that kick as he missed the 40-yarder just short. So with 40.5 seconds to go in the third, Lebanon's drive finally comes to an end on a missed field goal attempt by Moda. Well, that's that's the that's the beauty of it in high school. It's just like a punt. So it's like punting it in the end zone. Of course, in college, they bring it back to the line of scrimmage, but in high school level, um, you know, Tommy, years ago when I was officiating, I had a DCA game where they did not have a punter. And every time they got in a punt situation, they kicked a field goal. And, they, I mean, they kicked field goals from their own 30. So it, it goes back to the 20 if it goes out of bounds. Yeah. They give it to Valentine, sweeping near side, and he picks up about eight or nine. Good, healthy run on first down for Precious Valentine. Tailback for Oakland. 
Gets out close to the 30. They call it at, at about the 28. So a gain of eight on first down for Valentine. 